Hey everyone, I'm back with the next episode of the 1951 Stances Everything GMC pickup project, uh, Project Y Weight, uh, SAE GMC. Um, as you can tell, if you've been keeping up with the series, this video is in a wider format than my previous videos. I borrowed a camera off my five-year-old son and I'm going to see how this works out. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the audio quality will be in this video. I'm not sure if the mic is the greatest. So let me know in the comments if um, if you prefer this one or my cam or my phone. Uh, but the main reason that I'm using this camera now is because it's got a wide angle and um, a lot of the stuff I need to show now I need a little bit wider of an angle because the uh, truck is on the ground now, which is pretty cool. Um, the main reason that the truck is on the ground now is because I have the um, factory inner fenders in and I need to make sure that those tires tucked up inside the inner fender, uh, which they do. I've also got uh, the tires on a block of wood underneath there just to simulate my final tire size. Um, so in the last video, I spent uh, some time working on my rad support. Um, and figuring out how that was all going to fit. Uh, so in the last video, uh, this was all loose. Um, so if I grabbed on this, it was all sort of moving around. And that's because it wasn't attached to the frame. Everything is attached to the frame now. Um, I've got it attached. Uh, there's two bolts in here that go into an L bracket that's uh, mounted to the frame uh, with some grade 8 bolts. So everything is sort of solid. Uh, the way that it's configured right now, the hood did fit as you can tell by the cover photo that I added and um, it's it's pretty close to being where it needs to be. There's some uh, slots built into the, the brackets that I used so I can move things up and down uh, later once I sort of get things back from paint and have things figured out. Um, while I was uh, messing around with all this jazz I realized that this pulley and the core support were a little bit too close for comfort so to fix that I have picked up um, Corvette front drive so everything that I need is in this box um, once I have the front end off I will work on putting that on uh, because what's going to happen is very shortly after I put a bumper here where my foot is uh, I'm going to blow off the, uh, the front end of the truck so that it can all go to paint basically so uh, to give you a rundown of paint um, this is going to be chassis color chassis color uh, gloss black powder coat gloss black powder coat and the firewall is going to be <laughs> excuse me chassis color as well uh, after all that is done the truck is going to uh, go to my friend Jeff Weibrow Easy Fab for wire and fire. Uh, I'm not doing that myself uh, just because I, I really want this to sort of get on the road this year and Jeff's a wiring guru. But uh, while the uh, the cab is, is gone uh, to paint, um, I'm going to worry about the chassis. There's a couple of things that I need to move around and just uh, reconfigure after putting the cab on and realizing that some of the stuff that I did isn't that accessible. But um, that's sort of going to take second place to uh, figuring out this mess. So this mess is what happens when you're working over here and you have a little table that I've since put away right here where you've kept everything really organized but anything else just got shoved over there. I can't keep working with that. It's giving me anxiety. So I'm going to get to cleaning up that uh, right away and then hopefully hit you guys up with another video shortly. Uh, now that I do have a wide angle provided the audio works, uh, I can show you guys what's going on with the back half properly without having to figure out something to suspend my uh, uh, suspend my phone from somewhere up there and hope for the best. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, thanks for your patience waiting for this one to come out. Uh, 2020, I'm going to be hammering away on this truck. So hopefully you guys are on board and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.